Welcome back. If you didn't catch my last two videos, I went over a backhand throw and a forehand throw. Feel free to check those out before we look at this video. This video is going to be over hyzer throws. So welcome back again. Uh, so hyzer throws. These are going to be very uh, technical shots that you would use for certain situations. And I'm going to use this Mad Cat by uh, Lone Star Disc. Again, you can find these at Spring Valley Disc Golf Course. They have these in stock. They have a lot of other discs in stock. So if you're looking for disc, go there. What I mean by angle, if you can see my body right here, so I won't be straight on, but I'm going to be sideways. You can kind of see. So we were throwing, when we were throwing uh, our neutral shots, we were throwing right here, very level very like just keeping it level and bringing it through now hyzer shots it's going to be pointing down that disc is going to be pointing down more and you're still going to be ripping through so you're going to be ripping through but you're going to be coming up so you're doing more of a rotation up and obviously i'm exaggerating it a lot right now but we're going to be rotating up to where you're going to release and it's going to go on it's going to go out on this angle so this being on this angle is going to make it really go high up and come down. When we're standing, like I said, we're, we're, we're at the hips. We're not right here and doing this. You get power through the hips. So we want to use our hips and want to use our motion of our twisting and our, our hinging. When we hinge at the hips, we're able to use our legs more instead of hinging at the back, then we're using our upper body more. So what I want to see is when you come through, I'm hinging right here. And whenever I throw, I come up here. Because when you lean back, you'll do a total different throw than you want to. That will be the next video. Let me explain a little bit of the reason why we have this disc facing the ground. Wherever the outside of this, this top of the disc is facing, it's gonna be where the disc goes. When, it, when this disc is facing that way, when I throw it, the disc is gonna go that way. And you know, same thing with a forehand. If, our, if my forehand, the disc is facing that way, it's going that way. I'm throwing forehand, the disc is gonna go that way. So uh, that's kind of how that, the, that hyzer comes into effect if you're trying to get around things or anything like that. I'm gonna have Chris demonstrate the first hyzer shot. We're just gonna use a driver just so you know what we're talking about. And we'll go ahead and use an overstable driver. Now I'm gonna go over the fairway drivers and go over kind of a hyzer shot with those. All right, so Going back to my last video talking about the mechanics of a forehand, we're gonna go now into mechanics of a forehand hyzer. So the only difference is I showed the mechanics of a forehand being right here, kind of at waist level sticking here. Well now all we do is rotate that disc down and now the di uh, that plate, that top of the disc is facing towards the camera right now, which means if I were to throw this, it's gonna go to that right side. So again, keeping this right here, it's gonna go to that right side. So I'll go ahead and throw a few so you can get an idea. I'm gonna go mid range. Alrighty, so that is it for the hyzer video. So just remember, 
to keep that top of the disc pointed away from you and make sure we stay over our shot and hinge at the hips. Keep watching this video, keep uh, getting that down. As always, check out Chris's channel. He has a lot of uh, videos he puts up. That'll be all for the video. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.